What's up guys, this is Zach Hampel coming to you from Main Street in Cooperstown, New York. That big building behind me, that's the Baseball Hall of Fame. And let's just start by giving a close up of this right here. Yeah, given that, you can probably tell that something big is happening here. And what it is, is a film festival, and there is a full length documentary about me that's being screened here in just a few minutes. It's called Zach Hampel vs. The World, and if that sounds familiar, maybe that's because Major League Baseball aired a version of it a couple years ago, right after I got my 10,000th ball. It was on MLB.com, it's also on YouTube, and I'll link to it in the description for this video. Their version that they posted was only 13 minutes. The version today is 90 minutes, like I said, the full length version. So, it's taking place in a small theater that holds 55 people, totally sold out. The entire film festival is sold out. After the screening, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A with the audience and with the filmmaker, a guy named Jeff Siegel that I've gotten to know really well over the years. And then after that, just gonna wander around the museum, maybe get some more shots for the video. Not exactly sure how this is gonna go, but you kind of get the idea. So let's get inside, let's check it out. Wow, thank you. Check this out. She drew this for me, she's going to the screening. What's your name? Camilla. Camilla? I'm Zach, I guess Hi. you knew that. Yeah. Hello. What's your and name? And I'm, I'm Robin. Robin. Nice to meet you. We'll see you Great inside. Great to meet you guys, yeah. Thank you. Thank wow, you. We'll, we'll be right in. All right, we're gonna go get our tickets. Yeah. Yeah, he did a, he did a, he did his first This is the filmmaker right here. Sorry, I'm interrupting. You have to just wave to the camera. Hello. Jeff Siegel, everybody. The filmmaker. Enjoy. Nice to see you, man. Can I send a picture with you real quick? Yeah, sure. I know you gotta get in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you got it. Yeah. You mind? Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. We actually do a lot of baseball. That was sort of our first foray. James Taylor with the But I know it's here, so we might as well. So we will come back here after the film and get some more shots, but just walking through quickly right now to get to the theater, so come on. This definitely falls into the dreams come true category. It's hard to believe. Topps Baseball Cards did a card of me a couple years ago, and that was like a boyhood dream fulfilled. You know, I always dreamt that I'd you know, end up in the Hall of Fame, and the way I kind of am, it's really strange. It was a huge thrill and honor. I am in trouble, there's free food, and I have a hard time saying no to that. <laughs> these aren't just donuts and muffins, these are Hall of Fame donuts and muffins. Uh, once again, welcome back to our uh, program, uh, a full day and evening of films, and a real treat coming up for you now. It is a 90-minute film called Zach Hampel vs. the World. Uh, Zach is considered uh, really the most famous ball hawk in America. He has collected over 10,000 baseballs at professional games. And a full documentary done uh, by Jeff Siegel, whom we heard from earlier. Uh, so we're going to show the film, then afterward we're going to bring Zach and Jeff up here. We'll talk to them. We'll give you a chance to ask them some questions as well. Zach Campbell versus the world. I feel like I'm the 10th fielder. I feel like I'm connected to the game. Zach didn't invent it, but I feel like he's the grandfather. I don't know how he does it, but I'll give him credit for knowing where to be and for following a passion. You know, a zillion other people out there collect whatever. 
That's kind of how I see it. Yeah, he caught the ball. So we have a man by the name of Zach Campbell, a guy who for years has been catching foul balls and home run balls around different major league stadiums. It was at Yankee Stadium. I just thought, well, cool, I'll witness some history. I looked up, and before I knew it, Aaron was sending his 3,000th hit sailing in my direction. about you, I think it's fair, fair assessment of, of your life and your career? I think it should have been about six hours, personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. I mean, i seen, I guess, an earlier version of this film, so there were a couple new things in there for me, and every time I see it, I get chills in multiple spots. I think really most of the friendships I've made have been other fans, and even some players as well. Heath Bell, you know, he was just a quadruple-A player that came up with the Mets. Some internal come up to me when I'm at a stadium and like, I've been watching your channel and I wanted to hook you up with this, and I'm like, listen, when you're the GM, you gotta still hook me up, man, right? But yeah, I've definitely made some nice connections um, within professional baseball. I'm trying to do more minor league stuff. It was droll in the winter, and you caught a ball at Double-Day Field here. How do you like plan out where you're going to go? I mean, do you have like a plan at the beginning of the season? How many games you're going to go to, and where they are, and where do you stay? How do you feel when you meet a new baseball player? Do you pay attention to the games, or is it more about the ball? Like, do you get into the games? Are you passionate that regard, or are you just focused on the foul balls and pre? Balls and we want to All present right. Jeff Thank Siegel you. and oh, wow. Zach with bats. And Imagine if I drop that. <laughs> wow. Let's have a nice round of applause for Zach and Jeff. Thanks for coming. Take a picture with us on here. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Oh, there goes the phone. <laughs> All right. Ready? One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. Should I sign for A Rod, too? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Zach. Sure. Sure, thank you. She's a good photographer. Thank you, so Thank you Zach. Thank you. You're very welcome. You and a good artist, too. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sure. What's up? It just came down from Ottawa. Oh, oh wait. Did, that yeah. was you that left the comment? Yeah. Your trip was planned two weeks from now or something? Yeah. And I was like, let's just go today. <laughs> so. We have a copy of the baseball. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so. The screening is done, just hung out with a bunch of people, and I feel like the adventure is just gonna continue. Bill Francis right here, the senior researcher at the Hall of Fame, is gonna take us on a little tour just to see the historical archives. Is that yes. accurate? So come on, let's see what this is all about. So this is the public area, so anybody can basically walk in here and ask to do baseball research. All right, so this is the non-public area, is that right? This is a non-public area, right. I hope you guys appreciate what you're getting to see right now. And I these, appreciate it. These are file cabinets, which we keep a clipping file on every of the 19,000 or more major league players. Everybody has a clipping file, and some of the files are empty if the guy had a very Short career, guys like Hank Aaron have six or seven clipping files that almost fill up a whole cabinet here. And you keep, do you keep adding to this We now? keep adding to it. We have somebody on staff that clips newspapers, prints off the internet. So we're constantly adding to these files. You know, these go back to the 1870s. All the baseball encyclopedias from over the years, the total baseballs and things. I just have to touch them all. Now my DNA is on all of these encyclopedias. There's a big collection of media guides for every team over there. We keep subject files on things like balls, so that's probably where you got all that stuff. So yeah, this is really the nerve center of a lot of what happens here in the Hall of Fame library. 
This is the very first issue ever of Sports Illustrated with Eddie Matthews on the cover. Bill was just nice enough to pull this out and show me. Wow, yeah, first issue right there on the top. Amazing. I'm going to smell the paper. <laughs> Reminds me of my family's bookstore. The whole place smells like that. I, imagine, I love yeah. it. This is prior to any technology, really. I can pull out, we always show these on tours. This, of course, is Jackie Robinson. His day-by-day -day records from 1947. So somebody in the National League office with great handwriting was keeping these records day-by-day. -day. Of every ball player, and this is Jackie Robinson, April who made 15th. his debut in 1947. Look at that. So he went 0 for 3, but scored a run. In Played his first debut. base that day, too. Hit into a double play. Hmm. Red Stockings at Home, Union Grounds, July 1st, 1869. Complimentary game, 50 cents. So here we are once again with Jeff Siegel, the man, the filmmaker. Finally have a moment to chat with him. First of all, thanks, Ed. What an amazing film, seriously. And I guess the main question that people are probably going to have who are watching this is where can they watch the full length version? Because I told people to check the description for a link to it on YouTube, but what's the status of the film right now? Well, we just did a screening here for the first time, so some people saw it. Appreciate everyone for coming out. And to you for coming, but yeah, we're trying to get the film released uh, actually so people elsewhere outside of the small theater at the Hall of Fame can see it. We're working through some issues. Uh, there's rights and licensing things with Major League Baseball, but we're trying to explore options to get that done. So I'm not entirely sure just yet, but if there's people interested in watching it, that always probably can uh, help us at least uh, make a case for them, you know, trying to get this uh, cleared up sooner than later. So you know, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think people should write them or anything. Should we link to you on social media yeah, in the you, description? Sure, you can. Check the description for that as well. He's on Insta, he's on Twitter. You can hit him up directly if you have advice or you have interest, you know, direct everything to him. But, um, but I do know, obviously, you have a quite a big following. People are fans, and, and even just on your uh, post the other day about this screening here, there were people asking about where it was. So I, I think it's good to have uh, comments and interest on social media. So anyone who's interested in the... Uh, long film coming out, you know, post about it or write about it, I think that'd be great and help our cause. Leave comments on this video talking about how much you want to see it. Maybe the powers that be, the forces in the universe will see it and something or, like that. Or even possibly comment on the Zach Campbell The World Short on MLB's YouTube channel and say, hey, there you where's, go. The, where's the long one? Because yeah, exactly. it's out there. It's, uh, well, it's not out there, but it's, it exists, but we need to get it out there. So anyway. I, anyway, I, we're going to keep wandering the museum a little bit. But I just had to get you in there. Right, appreciate it. Introduce you to the world. Um, we'll be in touch. We're always in touch. And uh, just as a little tribute, yep. since I'm up here and we've just screened the film, I want to pay my homage to Zach here. So, here we go. We were both wearing <laughs> Marlins hats the first time, now we're wearing these back in 08. Awesome. Thanks, All right. Zach. Uh, There is so much stuff to see here, it's hard to know where to begin, but it seems like the Platt Gallery is a good choice. Starting with the first class of 1936, featuring Babe Ruth and four other guys, everyone who's ever been inducted to the Hall of Fame has a plaque here. And, you know, I'm not going to film everything in this building, top to bottom, every room. That's just impossible. The whole purpose of this video was really the whole film screening. But, since I am here, and I live three and a half hours away in New York City, I figure I might as well just wander around and just see how much stuff we can quickly see. So, let's do it. I love that transition from the brand new uniforms to the ones that go back 150 years. 
Those are some old balls right there. I love stuff that's interactive. I mean, walking around and just looking at all this cool stuff is amazing, but when you can stick your eyes through something and crank a wheel and there's a lot of that stuff here. Amazing. I remember this from my very first time visiting the Hall of Fame decades ago. It always jumped out at me. Ted Williams' strike zone, his hot spots, his cold spots. I think it's cool that they still have it up after all these years. And I also think it's cool, if you want to come this way, there's a massive display honoring women in professional baseball. That's awesome. Amazing day here in Cooperstown. I don't want it to end, but I really have no choice at this point. The Hall of Fame closes at 5 p.m., which is only five minutes from now. I've been here since this morning, and I completely lost track of time. And if you just want to follow me around this way for a moment, I'll show you what's behind me and up above. I showed you the first floor of the museum. Here we are on the second floor. And up there, there's a whole other world on the third floor, which I have seen in the past, but unfortunately I didn't get to show it in this video. So. That just means I'll have to come back someday. I think I mentioned earlier, it's been eight years since I was here at the Hall of Fame. I hope and predict that it won't be nearly that long until I come back. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed everything I showed you in this video, the whole screening, the Q&A, behind the scenes and the research center, and then just wandering around. This place is so amazing. It gives me chills to be here, not even kidding. And um, I guess last thing for now, just again, make sure you check the description for this video because you'll find a link there that goes directly to the short version of the documentary on YouTube. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. Keep the comments coming. Huge thanks to everyone who is actually here today for the screening. And a big, big thanks to everyone who works here at the Hall of Fame for being so nice and just super helpful. It's just, Amazing vibes all around. I'm out of here for now. Thanks for watching.